Hey, if you want to become a millionaire in the insurance industry, then keep watching this video. Here's one thing I can tell you, okay, is as I have sev several seven-figure companies now, is anyone watching this can become a millionaire in our industry. Most people don't know this, okay? 4% of all companies in the U.S. do seven figures a year. Here's also another stat most people don't know. Also, there are more of these in the insurance industry than any other industry on planet Earth, more than real estate, more than anything else. Which means, if that's the case, if that's the goal, if that's the target, if that's what you wanna do, then you're in the right place right now. And now I'm gonna walk through how you would make this a reality right away, okay? One of the first things you have to do, right? One of the first things you have to do is you have to immediately, immediately start thinking a lot bigger. Like if you don't believe that this can happen, I can promise you it never will. And for it to happen, you have to think bigger immediately. Okay, now let's break this down, all right? Let's look at one million bucks, all right? It's 20K a week and you get two weeks vacation, all right? It's $4,000 per business day which makes this an extremely easy target to hit. I remember a manager telling me, hey, hey Cody, you wanna make 100 grand your first year, you need to average $300 a day. And I'm like, 100 grand sounds big, man, it sounds huge, but 300 bucks, I can do that. Telling you, you can make 100 grand, you can make a million bucks. If you can make six figures, you can make seven. Okay, so if you think about this, 4K a day, right? Now let's break it down to where, let's just say that you work 10 hours, because in our office, we do a lot of working from like eight to six, 8.30 to 6.30. Sometimes I'll even put in 11, 12, 13 hours in a day, but not every single day, okay? Now, if you divide that out, $400 per hour. If you think about what $400 per hour is, what $400 per hour is, okay, is it is pretty much half a cell. So if you believe that you can make one cell every two hours, then you can become a millionaire in the insurance industry. Now, one thing you have to do that's gonna to have to happen, few things, okay? Number one, you're gonna to have to, you're gonna to have to have a steady flow of prospects, 100%. Like, you cannot make this a reality if you don't have people coming into your pipeline constantly, all the time, constantly, just every second of every day. Because what happens is, then we have a steady flow of prospects, you have people coming in, then, boom, you have to build out a team around you so that you can scale out this thing because you think about it, four grand a day, when I averaged and sold life insurance, I only needed four cells a day. Four cells a day for that to become reality, for that to happen. Now, if you think about this, you're like, okay, steady flow of prospects, right? Where do I get those from? You get those in a lot of different ways. Now, you probably don't wanna do what I did my first year, which was, which was cold call and cold door knock. However, if I had to start over right now and build a team of salespeople, cold calling and cold door knocking in the middle of whatever's going on in our world, I could do that and become a millionaire. So can you. Now, is it easier if you have a steady flow of prospects who actually have interest? Yes, if they have some level of interest, because what most people don't know, okay? is that when you're working with leads and prospects, is every lead has some level of interest, all right? They may be a one, which means they have very low interest. Doesn't mean the lead sucks, okay? Because they may have saw the, they may have saw the ad. They may have ended up on the page. They may have filled out the form, right? And then the information got to you and they were willing to send you their information straight to the agent, right? If you think about this flow, right, it doesn't mean that the ad sucked or the landing page sucked or the form sucked or the information was, 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 was poor because that's not the vendor's fault or whoever's generating, if you're generating, it's not the prospect's fault, like they choose what information they put, right? Maybe it is their fault. And then it goes to you. One is low, 10 is high. You can become a millionaire working leads that are right in the middle. But every single time you get a lead, some are gonna be down here, some are gonna be here, some are gonna be here. The point of an agent is to weed the lead out, to actually weed it out in the first 60 seconds. 
right? It's to follow up five to eight times immediately. I'm talking in the first 72 hours, okay? And weed these leads out so that you, because if you think about it, if you want to become a millionaire, can you work the same lead over and over and over and just keep following up with the same lead for hours and days and weeks and months and years at a time? I know an agent that worked a lead for two years one time and still did not make the sale. The agent had been calling the lead for two full, full years. I got on the phone and weeded the lady out in, in 13 seconds. That could have happened two years ago, right? You got to learn how to get their level of interest up or get them to freak out of the funnel. Because what most people do is if you want to become a millionaire, right? This thing has to become, you've got this funnel and you've got people coming in nonstop. And it's your job to get them all the way down to where you turn it into money, boom, or you get them out and you got this, you got this trash can over here that they're going into. So that you stop working them. Individuals that think on a bigger level are not micromanaging every 12, 24, $36 lead. You're thinking too small if that's the case. Also, for you to become a millionaire in the insurance industry, chances are you've got to be able to build out a team. What I look for when I'm building out a team, okay, is I go through like 8,000 pieces of paper here. When I think about when I'm look, looking at it and, and I'm growing a team, right, I'm thinking about finding individuals who are reliable who will show up whether they have a freaking stomach ache or not, who are coachable, who will listen to me and do what I say every single time, right? Also, someone who has a positive attitude and will show up and go up. Now, what, mo what, 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 what most team leaders' mistakes they make is they hire people who aren't reliable and they let them stick around. I fire people in day one, day two, or day three. We do not let it linger, that's ridiculous. We only hire people who are coachable I know what's best, I can help them make six figures, I can help change their life. If they don't listen, guess what? I can't and I want to get rid of them. Okay, positive, if they're gonna come in negative, they're gonna bring in their, all their extra drama and they're gonna bring it in to your workforce, your workplace, your office, your second home or first home, probably uh, by the amount of hours you put in sometimes, then you want to get rid of them immediately. Okay, now, once you identify who you need to have, then you gotta have people, okay, that can actually follow what I like to call a system. This is what this is all about, is you've gotta to get to where you've got a system. You want a million dollar business, you've gotta to get to where you have a system. And here's the system, here's what needs to happen in the system. It has to be replicatable. It has to be replicatable. You have to be able to take it from you and download it from your brain and put it into someone else and they can be successful too. You cannot become a millionaire in the insurance industry if it's all about you and you're only focused on you and you're selfish and you have an ego and it's all about how much money you can make. Replicate you with others, that's my gift and why I do videos to help you guys, okay, replicatable. Also, duplicatable. This is where once I, once I get someone else that's even half as good as I am, then they can start going and duplicating themselves and adding other people along the way. That's how you can start to scale out a sales team. That's why we have two pretty good sized sales teams back in Springfield, Missouri at the office in 15,000 square feet that are doing some big stuff because I've learned how to duplicate myself through others, okay? And the last thing, right, is, is, is you've gotta be able to find something that is scalable so that you know the system and the processes are in place so you can go from boom, I'm running, man, I'm taking off, I'm going, I'm not holding back, I'm not slowing down, I'm in it to win it, I want it, I'm going. But you have to have a system in place so that you can start to consistently wake up. Day one, 4K. Day two, 4K. Day three, 4K. Day 400, maybe it's more than four, maybe it's 8K now. You want to become a millionaire in the insurance industry, you have to think differently. You have to have different systems, different processes. You have to spend time with someone like me who's done it if you haven't and you need ideas because the only thing that could, could hold you back is the knowledge of knowing what to do. Most people don't have enough knowledge. You need the knowledge. I can help you with the knowledge. And the big thing is, this is how you specifically, no matter who you are, where you're at, or what, what, what business you're in, what product you're selling, what carrier you're with, independent, captive, I don't care how you can become a millionaire.
in the insurance industry immediately. Hey, if you love this, you wanna produce millions, I got a dude right here that did 1.2 million in his first 18 months. The interview's here, and we're gonna teach you how you can do it too. It did not seem as if that was gonna be my story. If, yeah. if you really, you know, kind of earn it out, I definitely wasn't foreseeing 1.2 million dollars in 18 months.